in your own words, could you tell me what macrocosm means to you? To be quite honest with you, I'm still trying to define what art is to me. There's a large level of honesty that I have to have with myself. And then in being honest with myself, I discover different parts of myself. It's like my main mode is writing, so you have to really get in your head for that. And I've learned to be really honest about the things that hurt and how I've hurt people and my feelings in general. And I think it develops a lot of emotional intelligence. Being in tune with myself in that way, I can, you know, it makes it easier to be more in tune with others. There's always something to be inspired by, whether it's the world around you, or you know, your loved ones, or just certain experiences that just happen on a day-to-day -day basis. It's like inspiration, it's kind of like a flame. If you overthink it, it's easy to smother it. And it's kind of easy to burn out if you think about it too hard. Passion is key, as well as spontaneity. And the fun of just letting things go as they come. I'm always trying to find that spark with anything I can find. As artists, everything we do is a message to the future. And in that way, we can understand the past. We can speak to the beyond and have conversations with those that came before. And it's this endless conversation that keeps me going. Because there's always more to learn. Principles of understanding what the body does and how it moves, mine in particular and my relationship to it, it helps me apply. Like those principles I've noticed also apply to every other facet of life for me. It applies the principles of yin yang balance, it applies the teachings of equilibrium, this huge emphasis on tapping into internal power. And that I think that's something that before dance, Without dance, I wouldn't, and being without physical movement, I wouldn't find that within me. Ever since I was little, like, I was always moving, and without movement, I, I just, it feels very stagnant. I feel, I start getting agitated, um, I don't feel free, but um, with that internal power, I feel like it strengthens my intuition, and in doing so, I can better navigate and more honestly navigate the way that I relate to people. It helps me navigate, you know, when certain energies feel right for me and when they don't. And so I can want to step back because you have that internal power. You're not moving your extensions. Your extensions are moving because of your core. And all movement in dance is coming from your core self. It's coming from your torso. And guess where your gut is? That's where intuition is. That's where your heart is. That it's heavily rooted in that. I love rapping, I love singing, I love like creating, creating music in that way. And music was and is the one and only things that saved my life. I'm called the Holy Strokes, and I'm still on this rap and shit, but I'm asking it, letting it. In a lot of ways, like, I can be music as God in my life. Knocking niggas off the skin jar, who's this? Who the best out? Neo. Every time I perform, it's like therapeutic because I'm like connecting my, with, my, with my deeper innermost self, my creative mind, rather than like my academic mind and like my insecure mind. I said beat, beat, make these up. The old song I remember is music makes me lose control, but music makes me feel in control a lot of times. It's like almost spiritual. It's like you can you, you can feel when you're gonna have a good freestyle. You can feel like you know, when you're just flowing off off the end off the hinges. It's when your energy is aligned. Once you find that space that you know your energy your energy connects, you don't want to turn it down. You don't want to like get away from it.
To collectivize is to revolutionize. What it means to be an artist is to be a paintbrush to the almighty. Something that's bigger than you. But the fact that we're creating it is our offering to the universe for all the blessings it gives us. Brings the intangible to life, grounds it in the physical realms, and we have that option to understand. We're all here for something. We're all part of something much larger than ourselves. To put it simply, I guess the first thing that comes to my head is to share. That's what communities do. They share. Could you tell me what macrocosm means to you?